Hey guys, Westy on the mic here. Hello, hello. Thanks for checking out today's video. Today we have another good matchup, um, an elite multiplayer match against Dr. Phil and Joe Bags, both of which are currently in the top 80 in the, in the multiplayer rankings. And we'll be playing Coyote Canyon, Lakeside, and then Oak Hill. So we'll see what kind of uh, round we have in store for us today. This hole is one that I always used to just play safe off to the right. Now that water skipping is an option, I do like to test my, uh, test my luck a little bit. And on this one, ooh, yeah, that's a tough spot. The water there, if you land too close to the land, um, will just sink right into the water and it's kind of a heartbreaker. Luckily here, I was able to save the birdie. I've kind of been practicing that. If you're gonna take a risky move, you might as well also practice where you're gonna to have to throw from if your risk does not pay off. So I've been kind of trying to dial in my throw in range from that island. I was still on the longer side, but yeah. Anyway, very happy to make that. This is a hole that I feel pretty good about in any non two or three win that is going to the right. I left it a little far to the right here, but I just made that cutoff where it bounces you closer to the basket. And we have basically a tap in for our birdie. Always happy with that here. Currently one behind Dr. Phil and tied with Joe Bags. Uh, not the best spot, but not the worst either. So this hole, really you want to get as far down as you can, give yourself a chance at the throw in. But really you just don't want to hit anything early and put yourself in a really weird spot. Oh, funny little ground reaction there. Thought I was going to end up getting closer, but as I was saying, anywhere where you're unobstructed is okay. Uh, we'll try the turn glide. I kind of like the distance I'm going to get from that, but I did overestimate um, how much it might fade out on me. So that's okay. Already here's what I expect and that's what I got. Anything else would be just a bonus. So we'll go tap that in and coming out of Coyote Canyon, still one behind Dr. Phil. Let's see what we got next. Looks like we have Lakeside hole nine. With this one win, I probably should play off to the right, but I've just dialed in my water skip line to the left. I like that approach more. It just always feels safer. So I watched those two land safe there. And then I'm going to make this play. I did not put as much angle on it as I wanted. So now I know I'm going to be a ways off. Looks like Joe Bags, yep, he went OB on his approach. So I will have that in my favor if I can make this island. It's not a foregone conclusion from this far out. Here I'm really sweating it because I know I left it a little far right, but snuck it on the island. The roll glide sticks perfectly. And from anything 55 and under, I like to do a putt. Uh, for me, it's it's pretty safe and I feel good about that. If I'm not really confident with my throw-ins, that's just my standard move. Ooh, classic water skip hole here, but that wind is brutal. Got to get the right angle and I feel like it's just about perfect. Ah. Oh. But I caught that rock and I am just short. Tough break, uh, but what are you gonna do? You always know there's a risk with that wind. Uh, we'll see if I can once again save the birdie after using a poor choice of judgment with the water skip disc. You just wanna risk it because it's fun to get those eagles that you rarely used to be able to get. Regardless, it did cost me a stroke. Dr. Phil is now up two and I now only have a one shot advantage over Joe Bags. Let's see, this is a hole that I sometimes am able to ace with a one wind, but rarely make it with a two wind. There I thought I made too much of an, too much of an adjustment, but I didn't make enough. Regardless, uh, no harm, no foul. Birdie on that play is the norm. And we know we have Oak Hill coming up, hole six. You had a third water skip hole on this layout. The first two have panned out poorly for me, but decided to go to the well again. And landed in the perfect spot. Thought maybe I could skip up for an ace, but very happy with the eagle. Looks like Dr. Phil in his two-shot lead decides to lay it up and play safe. And even if you lay it up there, it's still only 100, 120 feet for your throw-in, so eagle is possible. Um, he does sit down, so he takes his birdie, as does Joe. And now I'm only one behind Dr. Phil and two ahead of Joe Bags. We'll see what the last couple holes have in store for us. Uh, with the one win, this one really is not much of a scoring separator. I like to give myself a little bit more angle by sliding over to the left. I did not put enough Anheuser uh, with the Rive and ooh, almost snuck in for a cool ace. That's a very rare one, at least for me. 
Um, regardless, 80 feet out, I feel pretty good from this range. Um, pretty much default aim and then the top of the disc right at the top of that top band. So that's kind of my 80 foot distance power. We all took the eagle there, so didn't gain any ground, but also did not lose any. There were one down coming into the last hole. I was hoping it was this par three. We'll see, this isn't a super common ace for me, but I do like this line. I'll leave it a little further right than normal. Bang, nailed another ace, very fun. I, I don't get this one all the time, so that's always a very fun one. Got a little excited with my screen there. Um, we'll see if Joe Bags can bring it back. Very fun to have the walk-off ace for the tie and be able to gain some ELO from this. Check, let's check out Dr. Phil's bag. Sweet, he's got the PD. Always fun to see another PD thrower. Got the cool new Claymore, the new season Sapphire. There's the Paradigm. I didn't see him throwing that this round, but it's a very fun disc. Also a nice white Claymore there. I'm thinking that might be a season pass reward too. Go bags over level 1000. You know, he's been around this for a while. Also has a cool bag that's sweet. Light green water skip rive is fun. The Halloween open top 100 sapphire fun. And then the winter pure classic. Uh, very fun bag for him as well. Uh, fun to play these guys. It was a very uh, competitive round. Fun to get that ace. Uh, doesn't happen all the time. Anyway, thanks for watching.